Oh, nice. It zoomed in. All right, we're going to do a regular video today. This one, I just I want to just do... Uh, I got to pour some heads. So, got a bunch of molds, and I wanted to do... Uh, I don't know, leave a comment on something. I've been kind of curious. The time-lapse ones have been doing pretty good as far as views. Um, so I've been trying to kind of mix it up. Um, obviously, the goal to try to get to get to that thousand mark, hopefully. But I have um, a bunch of molds. Like, this is just for one. But I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, normally, I do this over a bucket, but I'm going to do it over the table today, just so you could see. But... I've been using this board for freaking 20 years. So, you know, as you can see, there's all kinds of whatever. But basically, all we're going to do is I'll probably pause it and stop so it doesn't take a, it's not a super long video. But baby powder into the mold. And then I'll get a brush. And then just kind of rub it around a little bit, make sure it's, especially in the teeth or the, you know, anywhere in the mold where there's going to be like little ridges and stuff. Um, I just want to make sure it's, it's in there real good. And then I'll kind of just cap the top off, shake it just to kind of get it, you know, nice and soapy. And then over your trash can or whatever, I'm just whacking it with this and I'm just kind of hitting the tip here just to get all that stuff out of the end because obviously if there's any in the end then you're going to have when you pull the mold out it's just going to crumble and it's going to be a big <sighs> like a light blow especially on that I just want to say just don't overdo it because if you blow too much out then you're kind of defeating the purpose of having is it a mold release at all kind of line it back up to where you know like it should be we cut it pin it through so it's you know even but obviously there's no wire inside because then when you pour the material in there you're going to have a uh, um the pin will get stuck and then you'll have a problem getting it out but hot glue it so i don't know i'm trying a few things like i said man i just really want to get like to where i can live stream especially and uh that'd be so cool so if you could subscribe I think like I was looking like 70% of my views are from non-subscribers and like I said we just had a video it was real cool just got almost 30,000 views overnight I kind of woke up and uh, all of a sudden it was you know at like 20,000 or something and so if you see if you see a decent amount what it basically is is like it got thrown into like the YouTube shorts which are kind of like short videos under a minute and then it's in like a special category and that one uh, widget video of doing the head got in there. So I'm going to probably try to keep it under a minute going forward um, to kind of continue to get into the shorts hopefully. But, you know, we'll see. Um, let the glue dry for just a minute. And I'm just going to do the same thing. You know, I have Gadwall. This is from Model Duck. Uh, Pintail over here. You know, some some of the ones I do a lot of, I'll make little... Uh, three packs or I'll make multiple molds just so that way especially on redheads down here uh, for example I need two widgeon which means I'll, I have this mold I have to pour one take it out redo it pour another one as opposed to just having two molds where I could do it all at once and be done so um, that's the process for here uh, it's going to stop and when it comes back I'll have everything set up and then we'll start mixing I'll show that and then we'll start pouring heads. So we will uh, we'll come come back to that in just a second. All right. All right. Just like that, magic. So I think like the big um, the glue is just drying now. So once it hardens enough, because you you don't want to stick it in in here with the you know with the glue still kind of wet like this one. Once it hardens enough, then we'll put them in there. Um, I'll go ahead and pour out the A and B. And to be honest, normally what I do on this, so there's one, two, three, four, five, seven heads. So what I'll do is pretty good amount. You're not going to do out of a five ounce cup because you got to figure you can't go past half because then when you mix it in, it'd be too much and it'll overfill. 
So in a five ounce cup, you're, you're not going to really get seven. Um, but what I'll do is kind of keep it manageable so it's not overfilling because then when you go to pour, it you, you lose a lot just in trying to get that first initial, you know, kind of like pulling, pouring oil in your car where that first little part kind of glops glup out. Um, and then from there, when you get down to, you know, say we do four or five of them, obviously it depends, right? This is pintails, uh, some buff, teal. If you were doing like redheads, mallards, and big birds, it'd be more geese. These are all kind of just like, I don't know, medium-sized ducks. So hopefully, um, and I don't know if I have enough. I might actually have to go to Hobby Lobby and get uh, get some more material. But here nor there, I'll, uh, if I do, I'm going to try to just pour what I can because I did want to make a video on this. And then I wanted to make a video, uh, probably a time lapse of kind of just what I kind of cut away from just now, which was basically, um, you know, baby powder, the same thing I did with the one shake, hit it out. I mean, it's not entertaining, but maybe quickly done, it would be entertaining. And like I said, man, I'm going to just try to keep trying different stuff and uh, hopefully find uh, find a good formula what works. I mean, I, the tutorials, man, I get a lot of feedback, which is fantastic. And... Um, and very thankful. Um, I guess I didn't do this one. And, uh, you know, but a lot of them, I mean, even some of them, uh, you know, I think the King Eider and like the Emperor, you're talking, uh, you know, three, 4,000 views, which is a lot. Um, you know, if I'm ever going to be able to make kind of anything from it, um, you know, I kind of have to get, like I did, like that one that went for 30,000 just overnight. Um, Obviously, I need a lot more of that to, to reach the subscribers because it's kind of, you know, normal videos. It kind of, it kind of, hold on, damn it, kind of goes up one at a time, you know, two at a time, that kind of stuff. You'll count, you'll, and then the giveaway was good. I did, I sent, I sent the mallard out today, so the winner should be getting that. Hopefully, uh, she'll, hopefully she'll uh, respond once she gets it. Um, to comment to one of the videos and uh, I'll be doing another one of those here soon too so and then it, it, let me know I was thinking about doing a video or doing a giveaway of if you basically pick any species you want so it's like if you want a king eider head if you want you know eye common eider green wing teal mallard whatever and basically I'd pour it dremel it paint it do everything basically I do to a head and um, and do a giveaway for that. So basically, maybe pick three winners, and then each winner could pick whatever type of uh, species they would want, and then they could have something. Obviously, this was just poured, but um, imagine it dremeled, painted, you know, like a buffle head, and then something. It'd be kind of like a little trinket souvenir or something. Um, so I have thought about that, and that would give me the ability to, um, you know, kind of spread it out instead of having just one big giveaway I could have uh, I could have you know do multiples each time and then I could just contact you and then you could pick out because I have every species in the US so um, many worldwide too but it's US for sure just because you know I've gotten all of them um, that we could uh, and so some of them I have to put up some of them I have uh, that's what I have the holes for, and I'm just trying to like put it so it lays level. So when I go to pour it in, um, so then I'm going to put this like so, and then this one. And like I said, for this pour, I'm probably just going to do a cup, and then I'll kind of see what I've got left over. And uh, so. Most of this you can eyeball. Um, I kind of normally have the cups side by side just for that reason, though. Just so, uh, just so I can have them side by side and I can see. Um, it's not a bad idea if you want to label them. Like I think this is uh, A. So I'll have. Let me get a marker. So I'll just have A on here. Obviously, the other one by elimination would be B. 
So I'll have them side by side. And then I'll just pour. You can weigh it too if you want to just put it in the cup because the cup's going to weigh about the same. So you can also just weigh it um, if you want to be sure. This stuff is pretty good about, as long as the mixture is, is fairly accurate, um, and I've done this so many times, but so it's a pretty good amount. So I always go A to B, lighter, the B is heavier, thicker. And so I always go that uh, direction. And then uh, just kind of mix until you feel warmth. And then I'm going to go, got to make sure I pour it into the right pin till. All right, so I'll pour A in. And I don't think I went over this in the last video I did, so I kind of figured, uh, kind of figured I would go over it. So, all right, so we'll mix this dog up here. Like I said, I'll just mix. I'll probably try to pour it into the biggest and the one that'll take the most first, just so that way. Uh, all right, so we'll do this, and then I might. Uh, I guess I'll pause it and I'll come back when I when I pull one of them out, and then I'm going to do a time lapse. I think of basically the whole process um, that you see now, and uh, I think that that'll probably look pretty cool. But uh, you should be able to see some of it turn white. I'll, I'll try not to t pause it until then. But so I'm just going to mix, make sure it's mixed real well. I could kind of feel some of the heat coming through. Obviously, you don't want to wait too long because this stuff, you know, once it hardens, man, that's it. So let's go ahead and pour this. It's redhead. Pour the pintail. Get him. Pour the gadwall. So, pour the green wing. And you'll run low on some of them. So, I mean, the main thing there is just you can always. We did all but two, basically, and a little bit of this widget here. So, then what I'll do is I'll just do a small little batch now that I've kind of honed it down. Um, all right, so you should be able to see if we can see on the camera. So this one here, you should be able to see, uh, harden up in just a, just a second. And let me see how much I've got left. So, uh, It's going to be close. Oh, here you go. You can see it hardening white as it goes up. So then it'll kind of shoot white and then you still got to you still got to wait maybe 5 minutes. And and if you're short and say you need to go get more or whatever, even if it's hardened, this stuff sticks to each other. It won't really stick to much else. Um, it's kind of like silicone, to be honest, because like I can take silicone, even this mold that's years old, and if I put silicone on it, it'll adhere, but anything else won't. You know, hot glue, super glue, anything won't adhere, but uh, other silicone, even to old silicone, will bond together. So it's kind of it's, it's kind of pretty crazy, actually. Same thing with this stuff. This hardens. If it's a little short, I'm like, oh, okay, I'll add a little bit more, and. Uh, which I may I may just top that off because I, I do need to have, um, so I might just do a, a smidge here because I, I do need to uh, do another widgeon, a second one, and that way I can uh, I can kind of take that one out. And then when I do the, the video here in a little bit, I'll have a, I'll have another widget to pour. Since I don't, that's the only one I have two of, so I need to make sure to get that one so I can... Because I don't want to just pour heads just for the sake of pouring. So, so I'll mix this little bit up. And again, if I have 
And another thing too is if you have oh scam call, shocker. If you have um, if you have something that you normally say like uh, you know you do a lot of mallards or a lot of pintail redhead whatever. It's never a bad idea, like on the Pentel, if I didn't have so many out, to go ahead and, and uh, hot glue all three. And then when you're pouring heads, let's say you pour, you miscalculate it a little bit, and uh, you have some extra, then you just keep dumping it into the, the other one. And then eventually you'll have an extra head. But what you don't want to do is just have it to where it just solidifies in the bottom of a cup and you're just wasting it because you could have poured it into another head and you know made one to have in the future especially something you know you're going to use and that's a big that's a big tip that i've learned uh and the other thing too is like i don't a lot of this is eyeball i mean i've done just so many times that normally i can get within a cap full um of being right on the money and uh all right so widgeon and then like for for this i might just go ahead and pour the the remainder in the redhead hen here. And I went a little bit extra just, I mean, just because I'm going to try to hopefully get all these heads because I just have to do these two and another widgeon and and I'll be uh, set. So, but anyway, um, we will, I guess, pause it for a second. I'll let it harden so, it, so I know it's not uh, going to mess anything up. And then we'll wrap this puppy up. So, see you in a second. All right, wrap it all up. So we have, it's been about three, four minutes elapsed. So we got Mr. Girdwell here. So, hard, it's, you know, fairly warm to the touch, but take the pin out, save that for something. Hot glue comes right off. And, you know, honestly, man, I wish I could find a way to reuse this. Like, maybe if I chop it up and shred it, and then I could, like, I don't know. It just always seems kind of like a waste. But um, start at the back incision, like so. I'm going to do this all by watching the screen. So just kind of work it. That's why I like to kind of, because sometimes people will cut just short, and then you're trying to, like, pull it out. But... You're better off just having that and just kind of cutting the, the seam off with a knife. It's so much easier. But I'll kind of just get it worked down. And then I'll kind of you know, hold on to the end so it's, you know, this way is pulling, this way is stationary. I'll kind of wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Pop her out. So then now I don't have another gadwall. So, and then from here it would just be... You can kind of see a little bit of the raised seam um, cut or dremel. Whenever I go through, I'll dremel uh, if there's any lines or any, uh, you know, any kind of imbalances. Or there'll be like a little scuff on the bill. Straighten that out. I'll kind of use the back edge of the knife, kind of rub, and that smooths it out real nice. So then from here, of course, it'll just be dremel out the back, the eyes. Um, this is just black. And then if there's any bubbles, there's not any bubbles in this guy, but if there was, I would do epoxy sculpt, rub it in. And, uh, you know, here, like I said, some, some of the silicone molds especially, man, you kind of get, um, you do get a few more imperfections, or actually a, quite a bit more than with the uh, RTV, this stuff. Um, obviously, this is cheaper and quicker and more readily available. This you have to kind of order from the company, and then, you know, it, it takes forever to set. you got to have little tubes or set up to, because it takes, you know, an hour to solidify where silicone you could paint on. And eh, maybe there's a few little imperfections, but this plastic stuff is so easy to work with. You know what I mean? So, anyway. And then that's it. And then I just do the rest for the other heads. And then, obviously, you can watch a Dremel. Um, golly, we're at 19 minutes. Now I see why the shorts are doing well, because I, I guess I talk too damn much. But anyway, guys, um, that's just I wanted to show you the setup, the board, um, and how I do kind of a more of a mass production on the heads. And uh, you can see the different styles because it's over the years. Uh, this was like first generation. Um, this was like second generation. Then I went to third. And then fourth is kind of the more easier silicone and, you know, 
So, but I get a good use out of all of them and uh, made a lot, a lot of heads. And this here in a catalog costs like 12 to 15 bucks. And I think it costs maybe 50 cents to pour it. So that's why I do it. So thanks guys. Please, uh, please like, subscribe, share if, uh, you know, you know somebody that, hell, if they want to make some molds of uh, other stuff, it doesn't have to be duck heads. So, all right, guys. Talk to you later.